Hey guys, Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. I reached 500 subs and I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks for watching. Ah, who am I kidding? Let's do a giveaway. So I hit 500 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you all for you know your subscriptions and all the comments. Uh, really great uh, community, really loving this YouTube community. So I decided to have a giveaway. So here it is, and uh, yeah, we'll give it away. So I'll see you next time. Okay, I'm just kidding, again. So in appreciation for 500 subscribers, uh, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, a little contest. So there's gonna be two first place prizes. Uh, I will do one prize for people who just comment and say, I'm in. Uh, and then there will be a second first place prize for those who do a VR. Leave a comment down below, say, I'm in, okay? That counts for one entry towards the prize for comments. If you'd like to do a VR, just put the link down below in the comments or PM them to me. Just title it VR for Oregon Bushcraft. You can add anything else in the title you want there, but that way I can just search for that phrase and find all those videos. I don't want to miss any, okay? And then if you check my playlist, there's a playlist called GAW, Giveaway, and as I find those video responses or as you post them, I will be putting them there. Uh, and that makes it easier for you guys too. If you want to see some of the other video responses, you can just go click that one link and then you can watch them all. So the VR that I'm looking for is you enjoying the outdoors. Uh, it could be hunting, fishing, camping, just taking a stroll in a park, but get outside and uh, give me a shout out. You know, just, it could be, hey, you know, I'm out here fishing today, just wanted to do a shout out for Oregon Bushcraft. However you want to do it, that's all, that's all that I need. Uh, so again, first place for comments and first place for VRs. Old subscribers, new subscribers, anywhere in the world, uh, we'll run it until the end of April, and then I'll pick a winner on May 1st. So let's get to uh, the prize. So first place prize for comments, not first place, the only prize for comments, is this Coleman action camera. Uh, it records in uh, 720p at 30 frames, so uh, it's not true HD 1080p, uh, but it really works awesome. It's waterproof. Um, it has a mount for the camera, so when you take it out of the waterproof case, you can still mount it on a tripod, and it does have a tripod mount there. It, it has an internal battery, uh, and it has a touch screen on the back, so all your menu settings and stuff, uh, you can use the touch screen. It comes with a couple different mounts, which you can see here, hopefully. And it's really, you know, it's really small. It's a tiny, tiny camera, so uh, for those of you who have been wanting to get out and do, you know, do some filming uh, or, you know, if you need a little waterproof camera to take with you, uh, these things are pretty awesome. I have recorded with them and they, and they work good. You know, it's not the, uh, it's not the super best quality, uh, but for waterproof, I mean, I mean, it works great. Uh, they take a micro SD card and it doesn't have to be anything super fancy, just, you know, your basic standard class whatever it doesn't have to be one of the super expensive ones uh, so this is first place prize for people who comment now I'm gonna show you first place prize for people who do a VR and it's this Coleman action camera that's waterproof has a touch okay so I actually have a few of these this one in particular uh, instead of carrying two of them down here I just brought one which represents both first place for people who comment and part of the first place prize for people who do a VR. So this is one uh, item. I have a couple of them. We got this buck knife here. It's kind of an inexpensive one, but I really like the handle and the way that it looks. Uh, it's got some good jimping on the back, but actually, you know, your thumb is going to be on the on the front side of that. This one is actually scratched up a little bit. Um, it, it was just sent to me like that. It's just a you know, it's an inexpensive Chinese knife. Uh, 440A probably, you know, the less expensive stainless, but uh, I really like the look of it and those that chunky handle, you know, it really lets you get a good purchase on it. So I threw that in there. We've got one of these vapor, uh, I think these are 500 milliliter, uh, 16 ounce, 500 milliliter uh, little water bladders. We've got a selfie stick, you know, the old uh, selfie pole, and it comes with a GoPro 
uh, mount on it also. Like I said, we're gonna go through this fast. This is a cell phone holder for the selfie stick or whatever else, um, you know, whatever other kind of tripod or anything you have. This is a folding spoon, fork, and knife kit, brand new in the package. There you go. Next is a whistle thermometer compass, a little keychain there. Next we have some little uh, plastic carabiner. The larger hole right here is large enough to fit paracord through, uh, so you can come up with some pretty interesting configurations for that. And then we also have a, uh, a tech lock knockoff. Uh, standard spacing, uh, it, comes with the, it comes with the mounting hardware. Okay, so next we have a mini USGI flashlight. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. Has the colored gels in the bottom and it runs on two AA batteries. Next we have the old uh, eBay stove, electronic ignition. You can buy the gas, you know, pretty much anywhere. It's four or five bucks. Uh, I think most of you are pretty familiar with, uh, with these little stoves. Next we have a paracord lanyard uh, attached to one of the little Smith & Wesson uh, knives. These things are pretty cool, super lightweight, uh, but it's got a clasp on the back, so if you do snag it on something, you're not gonna break your neck or, or choke yourself. And it's in olive drab and black. Next we have a cool little camp light that is no longer gonna be uh, new in the package, if I can open it up. This is good bubble wrap, by the way. So I think this is a 19 LED light. I believe it takes three, uh, three AA batteries and it has a magnet on the back and a hook so you can hang it uh, you know, inside your tent. Uh, puts out a lot of light and actually uh, it lasts for a while. Next we have a glow in the dark uh, paracord bracelet with a whistle that works. Uh, next we have one of the, uh, and I grabbed the wrong one, I've actually scraped on that one, but uh, I have a magnesium slash ferro rod. So as, as you can see, it's got a, a magnesium rod with a ferro rod uh, buried into it. Always handy to have. Uh, the next item is one of these mini USB lights, and these plug into uh, a USB outlet, outlet, and they have two really bright LEDs on there. Um, you know, perfect if you have a, an external battery pack to use for charging your cell phone. But you can actually plug this in and it puts out probably 10 times as much light as uh, one of those little, the little LED built into most of those power, power backups. Then the next item uh, is another candle lantern. Uh, I even threw a tea candle in there. So with this, you can just hang this from your tent or, uh, you know, out on a tree throw a tea candle in there and then the lid acts like a kind of reflector. I, I bought the uh, a UCO mini lantern um, and so I'm, I'm sticking with that for now but I uh, wanted to include one of these in there as well. They seem to be pretty popular. Next we have nuts on your wrist. I'll leave you alone with that one for a minute. Next we have the three hole guy line tensioners. Uh, these are made of stainless, they're pretty lightweight. And then I also have a set of the uh, red aluminum three hole guy line tensioners. Uh, I'll put links to these videos uh, down below so you don't have to go searching for them. You get four each of those. Is this ever gonna end? Jeez. So this is a little three LED keychain. It's not really charged right now, uh, so I, I doubt it's as bright as it really uh, as it really could be. But I'll leave it out in the sun for you, so it's nice and charged uh, if you win it. Next, Eaton Tool, the ultimate spork. These are pretty cool. So next, we have one of these uh, little mini Cree flashlights. Uh, they're designed to work with a 14650 battery, which is the 3.7 volt, but it's the same size as the AA. It will work on a AA battery, but it's not as bright. Next, we have one of the credit card lights. Just flip that up. It's pretty bright out here, but it just puts off a nice little glow 
um, you know, you can read by it, and uh, it takes one little battery that, that, that can be replaced. So next we have these uh, high cool UV sleeves. Uh, they're made out of lycra. They, they basically fit from your wrist up to your elbow. Uh, they protect you from the sun, but also they, they have sort of a cooling effect as wind you know, blows over to pulls heat and moisture away from your body. Next we have a little mini uh, EDC key tool. Uh, this fits on your, you know, on your house key or whatever. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but it's got tweezers, a little screwdriver, and then there's also a little uh, wire gate uh, carabiner in there that goes through the hole. Okay, we have a uh, kind of cool skull pattern uh, neck sleeve uh, that you can wear as a hat or a, you know, a headband or a, a face mask or whatever you want. It's got some blood splatter on there, so you know that's cool. And they also have one of the uh, the skull face uh, face masks that you wear, you know, over your nose, and it's got the bottom half of a skull on there. And then also have one of these uh, locking carabiners, not for climbing. Uh, basically, you know, good for keychains or whatever. Um, a good way to attach stuff to your pack. Uh, I don't even know where this came from. It just showed up in my stuff. So screw it. You guys can have it. So that's everything. So I want to thank you again for all your subscriptions, all your comments, all your likes. I really appreciate it. I really like this YouTube community. Um, some jackhole decided to start mowing the lawn now, so I guess it's time to go. Uh, <clears throat> again, this contest is open to anybody, so either comment, I'm in, for a chance to win uh, one of the cameras, or uh, do a VR for me, you being outdoors and giving me a shout out, and you'll be entered to win the whole thing. I'll do the drawing uh, uh, May 1st, so this runs until the end of April, so you got, what, five weeks basically to get them done, uh, and we'll do a random.org drawing, or I'll do something clever, maybe something involving firearms and targets. Yeah, I like where this is going. So guys, this is Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. Thank you again, I really appreciate it. You know, congratulations to whoever the winners will be of the contest. And I look forward to uh, those video responses as well. So this is Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. We'll catch you guys next time.